Have you ever wondered how they do it? Behind every great piece of art is a story, a person with experience, skills, and prized creative secrets. We've convinced some of Malta's most prominent contemporary artists to give us an exclusive behind the scenes look at the making of their work and to open up their process as they bring new original art to life. The Open Art Studio series offers a rare glimpse into how art is made and is dedicated to art lovers, artists and aspiring artists alike. Elenia, thank you for joining us. You're Maltese and you're a student at the Malta Vision and Performing Arts School. You've had some amazing success with the Sovereign Student Art Prize, being a winner of the Judges Prize in 2021 and then a finalist again in 2022. Congratulations. Uh, tell us a little bit about your art. My preferred subject choice is portraits. Um, I like portraits because even though it's one subject matter, it's extremely versatile. No face is the same, so I get to paint different expressions, different features, and I get to incorporate different color palettes. I paint both men and women, and I try to change up backgrounds every time. So we're here to find out a little bit about your technique and how you work. What are you going to be showing us? Today I'll be painting in a portrait in oils. I'll be using an alla prima technique. I'll be specifically showing how I mix the colors and how I paint the facial features, specifically the eyes. So it's an alla prima technique in oils. Tell us the effects that you can get from this. What does it achieve in your work? Yeah. Alla prima is basically when I paint multiple layers on top of each other without waiting for the initial layer to dry. This gives a much smoother look to the painting and I also get better blended skin tones. I can also paint the whole painting in one single sitting, which is an advantage. So tell us about your medium. I'll be using water-based oils today. They allow me plenty of time to paint without drying up, mm -hmm. which wouldn't be possible with any other medium, for example, acrylic. And which kind of paints do you have here today on the table? Yeah, today I'll be using the Cobra water-based oils. What I specifically like about this brand is the rich pigments they use and the wide variety of colors they offer. Um, these oil paints also have the same viscosity of normal traditional oil paints without the use of any harmful solvents. You just need to use water. Um, so this is essentially better for our health and the environment without compromising the quality of the paint. Talk us through what you're going to be demonstrating. Today I prepared a sketch of a portrait I will be painting in oils. Then once it's right to the touch, I will be glazing it to add a layer of depth. And the end result should be something close to or similar to the reference photo. Okay, looking forward. We'll let you get started. Yeah. So, uh, now to start with the skin tones, I'll start off by mixing like a base orange, which I use for all the skin tones I create. So I just mix a little bit of red with a little bit of yellow to get this orange. Then I add some white and some brown depending on the skin tone I'm creating. Now, um, since the reference photo on the reference photo, her skin, the lady's skin seems to be quite on the yellow side, I would add a little bit of yellow. Now over here, I mixed a little bit of ultramarine blue with burnt umber which gives me this basically dark brown which I use instead of black since black is quite harsh and I only use it for final touches or mix, mix it into some colors to make them a bit darker. I also mix a little, tiny bit of yellow with a huge amount of white because I use this instead of just pure white. So I leave the pure white just for the highlights at the end. I mix the paint straight from the tube, I don't mix it with any water beforehand, etc. Um, and then I add the water continuously as I'm painting once the paint starts, starts to dry up a bit. Um, when painting, it's important to start from the dark tones, which are essentially the shadows and the dark areas. For example, when doing the eyes, there are the eyelashes and the pupil. Then you move on to the mid-tones, which are the browns and the yellow ochres of the skin. It's also important to not overblend or overdefine features in the, in the face because this would just make the painting look less realistic. It's also important to identify the subtle undertones and hues in the skin 
most commonly are blue, green, and purple. These undertones will make your painting look much more realistic. Then finally, the final step uh, would be to add the highlights. That is when you, you actually use the pure white from the tube. The series is brought to you by Allura. Allura works with leading local artists to showcase outstanding art and to show you what goes into making it. For original paintings by some of Malta's most sought after artists, visit the Allura Art Collection at www.alluraart.com.